The Racing Point Pink Mercedes Formula One controversy is over. All of the aggrieved parties have backed out of their intended legal action, Racing Point will take its penalty on the chin, and the rules have been changed to prevent a repeat of this saga in the future. With all that behind us, it's a fitting time for Racing Point to offer a first look at how it will start to develop its car away from the 2019 Mercedes concept it copied in the first place. Its latest raft of car updates, which so far have only been run by Lance Stroll and were believed to be worth two or three tenths of a second per lap, are much more than just trying to keep following the development path already travelled by Mercedes. Mostly. Before we go any further, remember to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more from the race and to show your support, which we really appreciate. So, what's Racing Point been up to with its car? Shortly we'll look into the team's new brake ducts, but the words Racing Point and brake ducts in the same sentence still give us chills after the arguments of this year, so we'll start somewhere else. Racing Point has come up with a dramatically different side pod shape that clearly moves away from the 2019 Mercedes concept. Its new design doesn't follow the traditional coke bottle shape that swoops in as tightly as possible towards the rear of the car from quite far forward on the side pod. The new design, as you can clearly see here, has a wider forward section which cuts in later, creating a ramp down the back of the side pod towards the floor. This ramp accelerates air from the top of the side pod towards the back of the car, further energising the air around the floor. It's an innovation that was initially used by Red Bull and has since been picked up by Alpha Tauri, Alfa Romeo and Williams. It's understandable that Racing Point would target the side pods as a key area to develop from the 2019 Mercedes concept. Last year the W10 was one of the only cars on the grid that hadn't moved towards the side pod design pioneered by Ferrari that makes use of repositioned and reshaped inlet openings to get cleaner airflow that isn't as disrupted by the front suspension. Mercedes followed that trend with its W11 for this year and now Racing Point has come up with its own version. The team's technical director Andrew Green described the update as quite a powerful one and he says it will be Racing Point's only major upgrade of the season. We still wince at the thought of having to analyse Racing Point brake ducts, especially as the new ones on the front of the RP20 have similarities to, you guessed it, Mercedes. Before we explain what's different about the Racing Point versions, let's quickly clarify two things. Firstly, Green was quick to point out that the new rules about copying rivals' parts from images only come into force for next year's cars, and secondly, Racing Point has never received any parts or information from Mercedes about its 2020 brake ducts. Green says the new front brake ducts take inspiration from several teams on the grid, of which the Mercedes is one. Racing Point has therefore taken its 2019 Mercedes brake duct design down a path similar to what we've seen on this year's W11. The inlet ducts that stick out from the wheel assembly are clearly similar, but inside the brake drum there are differences. That means the aerodynamic function of the ducts, directing air through the wheel rim to aid the outwash from the front wing that travels around the front wheel, which in turn feeds air to the new side pod design, is not identical to the Mercedes. Even before the controversy blew up around its car, Racing Point always planned to eventually go in its own direction with the Mercedes concept once it had spent the first part of this season making sure it understood a design that was a big change of direction compared to its previous cars. However, F1's rules around what teams can still legally take from a rival will enable Racing Point to inherit Mercedes' innovative rear suspension design for next year. This was one of the elements of the 2021 rulebook that upset Racing Point's rivals so much because as it would be taking a year-old specification, it doesn't have to use up any of its limited number of development tokens to put what could be a big performance step onto next year's car. But Mercedes also made significant changes to the chassis and bodywork in creating this year's W11, and Racing Point won't be able to repeat its copycat trick from this year with its 2021 design. Not only is that because the rules around copying cars have been changed, but also because every team must retain the chassis tub design being used this year. So while Mercedes optimised several areas of its car as well as the rear suspension, which clears a better path for the airflow around the diffuser, Racing Point will not have the same freedom. 
Racing Point will have to continue to go in its own direction with future developments, and that will also mean coming up with its own solutions to make the most of the 2020 Mercedes rear suspension when it gets the chance to use it. What do you think of Racing Point's big update package? Are you pleased to see the team going in its own direction with new parts, or is it still following Mercedes too closely? Tell us what you think in the comments, give this video a thumbs up if you liked our explanation, and remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so we can see you again next time.